everybody, in this video I have another Trimcraft design team package to share with you. It's only been a few weeks since my last one, but Trimcraft have so many new releases at the moment. I even have something to show you at the end of the video, which I bought the other day that didn't come in, in a package, but is yet another new release. So in this video there are some Dovecraft Essentials, new paper pads from Paper Addicts, and a new first edition paper pad. I've just put these in shot so you've got something to look at other than my gesturing digits for a while but yes we will start with the new Dovecraft Essentials bits. So as you can see the first thing is some new uh, card blanks and envelope packs from Dovecraft Essentials. I do, they did send the design team members like a mix of things so some people got slightly different things so if you've seen someone else's video and they've got different sizes or different colours of things that would be why but as you can see here I have two 5x7s, a uh, craft and white and a craft 6x6. Six six. It says here that it's 300 GSM extra strong card blank so I am going to open one of these up just to have a good you know copper good feel to see how how strong they actually are but oh yes yeah those are good strong card blanks you know when sometimes you get a card blank and it's kind of flimsy you put a load of stuff on it and it just kind of goes whoop and falls over so yeah strong card blanks are always a good thing I know not everyone buys card blanks and they prefer to just make their own but I'm super lazy and I always buy card blanks so yes there's those I'm presuming there's probably the 6x6 in white as well we have some new sentiment stamp sets always a good thing one is called general and one is called occasion I think this is the general and this is the occasion so this has a fun sort of serif all caps font we've got sending hugs and happy thoughts make a wish just because from me to you life is better with you fantastic news i like that one actually i've never seen that before on a sentiment set so in love with you all my love made with love lucky to have a friend like you just really lovely things on there and then this i think is the occasions one because we've got happy easter happy mother's day happy father's day sympathy sorry you're leaving happy birthday always in my thoughts just for you thank you thinking of you and get well soon and that's in more of a sort of scripty handwriting font oh look i did get six by six in white as well <laughs> whoops just got buried in amongst all the many many other things so yes definitely there is white six by six with the card blanks as well there is this which i am really excited to try this is the dovecraft gem pickup tool now i'm gonna open this up and try it because i bought one of these a while back not a dovecraft one I'm, I'm so bad at opening blister packs. Look at the state of this. Okay, there we go. What was I saying? Yes, I bought one of these a while back. Not a Dovecraft one, just like a generic cheap one from Amazon. And it was dreadful. I was going to show it to you, but I can't find it. I think I might have thrown it away. But yeah, as you can see, it is really pretty. Like it's got all the little gems inside, purple gems, like in that Dovecraft colour. Um, it says Dovecraft on the side. I just, how cute is that? So it comes in a little plastic case as well. Let's find some sequins to pick up. Give, put it through its paces. So just random sequins I've just pulled up from there. I think this is the, oh, brilliant. Oh, that is perfect. They pick up perfectly and it doesn't matter which way round you know the inside of the cup or the outside of the cup just oh that is so good I know I'm getting really weirdly excited about something simple like this but the other one I bought really was so bad so really recommend this what is the other side for oh okay it says the metal end can be used to displace gems or to press down rhinestones or paper pieces to keep them in place so if you just want to for example you kind of glue that down and then you want to just like hold it in place while it glues or something i think so i freaking love that now i need to tidy all these sequins away and it would be easier to do it um just scooping them in but i'm having too much fun doing it this way <laughs> so next up more dovecraft essentials we have metallic letter tiles and some wooden bunting pieces those are super cute you could um decorate them with paper or paint them just keep them as they are they've got the holes pre-cut in them so you can thread them with twine i really love those they also have some of these which are square and are letter tiles as well then we have the metallic letter tiles which i am just loving it's 150 pieces so i don't know what they've done in regards to how many different uh, letters like how many vowels and stuff in there but i can see just looking there i can see at least three E's, so that's always a good oh no a fourth there as well so just to gain a few out so you can see 
the colour on those. And then there are the iridescent foil letters as well. I assume it's the same amount. Yeah, 150 pieces. Again, I will just grab a few out here so you can see the colour of those. All shiny, beautiful. I love those. Then some more pieces here. We've got iridescent photo frames that have that same foiling on as those letter tiles I just showed you. And those are magnificent 10 pieces of those and then some adhesive sentiment toppers these are white with some with gold foil some with silver foil we've got congratulations i think they all say yeah they all say congratulations and then happy birthday ones here 12 pieces in each pack just such a handy thing to have if you're using a collection making a card and you don't have a sentiment topper to match or something then just having these around again as i say so handy and then we have all these beautiful rainbow ribbons look at those i love those so they are two meter gross grain ribbons i'm just i'm sorry i'm just gonna have to red orange yellow green blue right, right okay now they're in rainbow order not that you can see them now because i put them on their side but here we go just so you can get a good idea of what these look like love those next up we have six new pads from paper addicts and if you've seen me like share these in videos before i love these pads the paper is such good quality there's so many good fussy cutting opportunities in these pads which just makes me very very happy and they're really great value for money as well i find the cheapest place to get them is the range by the way in store but i will leave obviously links to other places if you can't get to a the range but yeah these come in 12 by 12 6 by 6 and they also do the little 10 by 10 centimeter pads as well so let's just have a looky through these first up we have tropical bliss um this is 24 double-sided sheets 24 designs um i believe that's going to be the same for all of them so i'll just say it now 200 gsm cardstock and acid free pages so let's have a little look see in here i'm probably gonna have to put it sideways so you can see both sides oh isn't that pretty i love a strips paper that is really really lovely and then the reverse of that is this really lovely sort of green tropical leaf one and you get two each of those then we have some parrots i really love this parrot the way it kind of you can see the brush strokes and stuff the way it's drawn that's really my kind of thing when you can see like real brush strokes and stuff so i love the parrot and the little toucan as well again probably can fussy cut those and there's the same sort of tropical leaf pattern on here except it's on a sort of creamy background then we have this fun yellow page which would just make lovely backgrounds for cards and then this um sort of tiled one with the yellow green and navy and blue this one i like a lot these leaves on here like all the layers on it really loving that and then we've got lots of toucans I'm trying to be fairly quick going through these because we've got a lot of papers to look at but then we have the paisleys on a sort of distressed navy i'm going to call it again could probably fuzzy cut a few of those and then that tile paper with the blues i love this so much another sort of tile effect paper here with the purple those two together look lovely don't they and then just a lovely purple on the other side of that then we've got the hibiscus flowers those colors are beautiful if I do say so myself and then dragonflies yay oh those are so pretty as well and if I turn this one around we have like the little lily pads I really like that pink on that yellowish background it's not usually colors I would go for but together they look really nice and then a sort of scattered dots yellow on green another sort of tile effect pattern there and another one there really like that one a lot then we've got like a sort of animal print one but it's also in stripes in the purple that is fun and then oh hello let's look at this paper that is gorgeous that is oh i'm liking that an awful lot another fun print here in the green and then we've got more parrots on this side sorry if i'm moving around that that around too much if that's really annoying but kind of hard to show you anyway yes parrots and the hibiscus that pink color so strong and pretty and i th think no, I think we've got one more, two more designs to look at. So that green there, really lovely subtle pattern on there. And then another animal print on the reverse. So there we go, the first one, Tropical Bliss. Next up, we've got Game On. And every time I look at this paper pad or just think about it, I just 
have to go game on you know like in wayne's world when they're playing hockey in the street and then they move the goalposts when the car is coming and then when the car goes they go game on just yeah anyway so that's in my head i'm gonna have to go watch wayne's world now anyway it's all the same stuff um in regards to amount of patterns and gsm and stuff that's in the other one um obviously this is quite a good one for doing cards for for boys for young men or for men in general um not to be sexist about this obviously it's fine for girls too but sometimes florals aren't just quite what you want for a masculine card but anyway so we've got an orange one here that's like kind of it's like got football-y things but also kind of a formula one-esque thing like with that flag on bleh, 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 lost my words there then we've got all the different balls on this side <laughs> I'm so mature. Um, there is football, golf ball, basketball, baseball, rugby ball, and tennis ball. I think that's all of them. Then on this side, we've got all these like champion cups there. Some say winner on, some say champions on, on, and then this one, just loads of little flags that say goal, and you could definitely cut those up and just use them as sentiments if you wanted to. This one, we've got some cricket stuff on there on the orange and then just like a nice backing sorry coughing fit cold is still lingering um yeah nice backing paper there in this kind of i can't tell if it's my lighting or if there's an ombre thing going on there i don't think there is but yeah then swimming on this page i like the color palette for this one like it's quite dark and earthy tones this paper is very pretty I will be using that for a background then this one with all the tickets on I love the background for this but I will also definitely fussy cut some of these out because they are so cute the other side of that is tennis themed I like these strips you could definitely cut those up and layer them and things like that then we've got the um it's not I don't think it's darts because there's arrows on there, so it's archery on there. Again, fussy cutting opportunities. Then a lovely star paper. I really like that. Then we have a golf page there. I know absolutely nothing about golf, so I don't really know what I can say about it other than it, it's golf. And there's like all the golf balls and the, 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 the golf holes. That's probably the right term, I imagine. On the green. Then some football on here the green is the perfect green for a football field isn't it i love that and on the other side of that is some uh, football goal posts as well and i like the way that it's themed like golf is together and football is together so if you wanted to make a card blank out of this paper it would work because you'd open it and it would still be the same theme inside so i'm appreciating that like this with like the little plus signs and stuff really simple but great for a background then we have like the formula one crossed over flag things i know so much about sport this page with the bikes i like a lot i actually need to make a card for a guy in the next two days i'm having lots and lots of ideas at the moment i love that for a background then we've got well i presume it's probably baseball but we don't play baseball in this country so i'm gonna call it rounders so yeah I'm quite good at rounders in school actually and then there is the check print on that side then on the last pages is the basketballs and then this background here with all the hexagons so yes that's it so that is game on then we have Once Upon a Dream, which is very about the polar opposite of the Game On one. Um, I think a lot of you are going to like this one a lot. The colours in it are beautiful. Yellow and purple, I'm just, I'm just it's one of my favourite colour combos. Then neither of them are necessarily my favourite colours, but together I just love them. So we've got a butterfly print here. Again, obviously quite fussy cuttable. And there is a darker purple here which has like ballet shoes and florals and butterflies. It is so pretty. More butterflies on this side in the lilac and then like in the really light color print and then a heart page on that side. These colors are so pretty, aren't they? Then we've got a yellow background with the butterflies like in strips and the other side is just a polka dot, which is sort of like the you know the pinkishy lilac color on the yellow more butterflies on this page lilac background and yellow florals it's so very pretty and then the other side of that is like all these scallops on here what does it say it says follow your dreams and follow your heart in this really pretty font with all the yellow butterflies between the phrases and then the b side of that has the yellow and the purple butterfly print then we've got the ballet shoe print 
on this page and I've just thought of another card I need to make soon that this will be really appropriate for. So I'm having lots of ideas as I go through these. Love these hearts on this one as well. Like it's quite a subtle print, very pretty. Floral page there, another dotty page. Then we have, oh, bows. Oh, I like those. Those are very pretty. I like those a lot. Then the ballet dancers in strips on that side, that floral paper. That is lovely, isn't it? And then we've got like the spirals, yellow spirals on the purple background. Some more ballet dancers here on a darker purple. And then yay for more butterflies. Always like more butterflies. More ballet dancers. Oh, this is nice. And all the different patterns going across like the scallops and then the doodly scallops and the hearts. I do like that a lot. More butterflies on here in little floral wreaths and then another floral on the B side of that. Really like this one, it's so pretty. Then we have Forever and Always and I think at the moment this one is my favorite but that often changes after I've worked with paper pads. Like once I've worked with them, I end up changing my mind. But at the moment I love this one. I think it's just the colors are lovely. How pretty is that with florals and hearts, the XOXO, and there's a lovely sort of blush color marble on the other side, yum yum. Then the love hearts, literally love hearts, a polka dot background and little florals surrounding those. The other side is a pink polka dot. Then the lovely blush color, it says forever and always with the sort of brush strokey uneven stripes across there and then the other side of that is just a really lovely sort of ombre peachy blush colour. Then there is the corally colour with the XOXO with the hearts and again these are like those sort of brush strokey ones so I just yeah I really really like those. Then we've got little floral heart wreaths on the other side of that. A heart print there on the blush colour and then what these ones say fall in love in different fonts and colors, which I don't usually do lovey-dovey things, but like for making a card for someone else, totally usable. A uh, happily ever after on here, obviously really good for like a wedding card or an engagement card or something. Some really nice uh, leafy flourishes there. <gasps> oh, look at that paper. This is my favorite so far, this paper, I love it. And you know I'm gonna fussy cut some of those. The other side as well is really, really really pretty another pretty ombre there good for a background oh oh so pretty yum 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 i love it so much and then hearts again pink ombre oh there's a plane going past we're having an armed forces display in my town today and so there's like spitfires and stuff going past i'm gonna go out in a couple of hours and go see the red arrows it's too hot for me to be out the whole day because I really suffer in the heat but I can hear the spitfires and I'm yeah as I said I'm gonna go see the red arrows later because who doesn't love the red arrows anyways on this side as well lovely floral sort of wreathy long bits wreathy long bits you can tell it's hot I can't make words anyways in the hearts on there another beautiful heart paper love those more florals this paper pad is lush uneven stripes on a pinky background love 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 and those hearts as well i mean that's the easiest fussy cutting in the world to do and they would make beautiful embellishments oh i thought we were at the end but we're not another uneven stripe on a slightly marbly background there and oh my goodness how pretty is that the falling flowers and you could have that either way you could have this at the bottom side or top and it would look lovely anyway so yes that is the forever and always and i do really like this one next up we have retro days this one is like a 70s inspired with that same color palette i'm having a lot of that 70s show flashbacks of watching that when i was younger so i like this tile one with all the sentiments oh and it would make a lovely background for a card or again you can cut them up oh a grid you all know I love a grid if you're a regular, just love a grid paper. Then this one is fun with like the little, they're not really dots, they're almost like an oblongy shape scattered dots. Fun shapes on that one. Wow, that is so 70s. It's like a 70s wallpaper and I am all, I am here for it, I really am. Little leafy flourishes on here, triangles on that one and then all these little you could cut these out and make them look like candles mm, yeah i'm gonna do that for a card oh i like this one that sort of 
the whole zigzaggy pattern and brush strokes on that peachy background so pretty triangles there again great background or fussy cut it for layers stripes always know the stripes page and then oh this is fun with like the leafy bits but then also like these little round things that are almost like the flowers love that also fun that reminds me a little bit of the old pick and mix paper pad from first edition you remember that i've still got it somewhere loved that paper pad uh florals here again really, i love this particular color here this peachy one with the gray that looks particularly nice as well this is quite autumnal this paper i feel like if you were to fussy cut those leaves you could make a really lovely autumnal themed something same for this one as well with those those are feathers not leaves another fun paper here with all the little circles and semicircles. again reminding me a lot of pick and mix and i just i love that paper pad so much scallops here it's slight fun angles that would make a lovely background as well um sometimes with papers like this i like to cut just like bits of them and then layer them on top of each other almost like shelves or something just yeah it's such a nice, nice effect and then you can tuck stuff between all the layers and oh nearly missed one triangles on there and oh that one is fun i love these brush strokey triangles and the little dots between them lovely little flowers there and oh that one's nice as well with the circles mustardy color here with all the triangles on there and another scattery dots paper and is that yep that is the end of that one so that one is a retro days and lastly for the paper addicts paper pads we have viva forever and just like with the game on one where it gets a certain thing in my head this one makes me sing the spice girls song every time i see it i just go yeah i'm not gonna sing but you you know what song i'm talking about so getting into this one really bold colors in this one we've got the cacti with the geometric shapes on that really bold pink and then oh my that is also very very bold look at that green with the pink triangles very bright cactus cac cacti 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 pattern here with the little tiles again you could fussy cut those little ones and like build them up and rearrange them to different shapes if you wanted oh i'm a big fan of this one i love really bright colors on a white background in particular so yeah I, this is my favorite so far of this paper pad cacti on the orange zigzaggy background there and then a triangle well not triangle like arrow heady oh, oh why can't i word today it's very hot anyways you can see what it is this one is fun as well i really want to cut up those strips particularly love that then we've got the arrows on here love those on the yellow or love them slightly more on this purple though very nice good vibes and strips there obviously that would be great for a card or even a layout actually if you cut the whole strip and then had it going across your layout that would look pretty cool cacti in pots there and like the cacti are decorated on that one then oh i like this those i feel would look cool if you cut them you know along the sides and use them as little border strips or something i just i just want to cut everything up basically <laughs> lovely again another strip one there then we've got the tiles with the green and purple we like this one too another strip one with the blue background yellow little arrowy triangle things i should film when it's cooler uh, more cacti these are very fussy cuttable these ones i feel I love that for a background this one is fun i love these polka dots on the blue that would make such a fun birthday card and oh i love that that is very nice with the purple then we've got like the banners here with the little tassel banners very cute again like i was saying with bright colors and a white background really does it for me then more banners here in the blue and then i think yeah this is the last one here the zigzaggy one so that is viva forever try not to sing i hate my life right now i just flipped through this entire paper pad and didn't press record on my camera i even checked i was in shot at one point and didn't notice that it wasn't recording <sighs> anyways this is the new first edition paper pad called making memories this one is designed by jessica hogarth who i did just check 
in my big pile of first edition paper pads behind me um, that she was the one who designed the pick a mix which I was talking about before one of my favorite paper pads and this one it's not the same as pick a mix in any way shape or form but it is like reminiscent of it which just makes me very very happy anyways you're not getting my uh, first time reaction because I've already done flipped through it but um, yeah I'm grumpy about that but anyways let's try again so the first paper is glittered oh I even forgot to say 48 sheets uh three sheets of 16 designs three spot uv designs two glitter designs and half double-sided papers right let's try again the first is this glitter stripe paper which i really really like especially these hearts in the middle and the fact that they're like slightly off center i just i really love stuff like that then this really fun circles page again this is glittered hopefully you'll be able to pick that up a little bit so lots of fun circles on there then this is the first of the spot uv again i don't know if that's picking up but i love this because i can cut it to pieces and there's all these lovely sentiments and stuff and the heart sealed with a kiss xo hey love and then like all the like stamp effects one it's like um paper pad at last christmas which i'm totally blanking on the name of but it had a page like this which i used the hell out of and then this one is really different but i really like it it's another spot uv Again, I don't know how well that is showing up. The background colour of the lilac is so pretty. And then like this tile effect, but with hexagons instead of squares or diamond shapes or something. I just, yeah, it's different, but I like it. And this is a fun page. Again, this is one of the spot UVs with just all these shapes everywhere. But what I really like about this is all the black and white bits with all the doodles and stuff, like the hearts and the squiggles. I really love those bits. Then this one is super cute with all the little letters and postcards and envelopes and stuff. I mean, it is so sweet, isn't it? I love it. Then there is this sort of indigo-ish colour, indigo blue colour, which has all these arrows on. And I thought we were in double-sided, but not quite yet. But next up, this paper I love. The mint background with the little bouquets and hearts. Just had to pause there due to uh, loud noises in the house. Again, there's the lovely indigo-ish colour with all these doodled hearts on i really like that and then now we are in the double sided we have the scattered dots page which is very scattered dots i think it's got most of the colors of the paper pad on there apart from like the the greeny colors but why is it when i film everyone has to make noise be quiet anyways yes scattered dots page lovely for a background there i really like these crosses like the the sort of handwritten doodled effect of them the background color is very pretty as well these florals are gorgeous in the white on top of that color i think is lovely then this is another lovely page this pink color with all the little doodles the little spirally things and hearts and just i really love the whole doodly thing in case you hadn't picked that up already then the birds on this one is lovely i love that they're standing on all these little collections of doodles as well that is super cute and i've just noticed this little bird here with the stars oh love it then another one here which is ripe for fussy cutting all these little speech bubbles on here we've got love lots of love hello you hey i love you kiss shatem yeah obviously you can keep it as it is but fussy cutting them for sentiments would be fabulous then there's a tiles page again i really love this pattern she's done on the inside of these and i particularly love the colors of this one and this one like the lilac -y pink and the minty ones and yeah i will probably cut those apart and like layer them up and stuff this one also super cute minty background with those heart balloons i just i love all the doodles i can't get over them all like the little hearts and the squiggly lines and stars and stuff and all the balloons i love those rainbows little doodled rainbow blah, blah, blah. try again doodled rainbows on there love them and then again this is one of those ones it's at first you're like that is really different but i really like it i love the background color i love all these circles and all the patterns going on and just those again would be really easy to fussy cut for embellishments or even punch them out if you've got a right size circle punch for those just it's different but i love it and then we've got like the star or little asterisk shapes asterisk asterisk it's too hot to say that word those shapes on the white background and all those colours. Then there's like, it's not dots, like loads of little scattered little lines of different thicknesses. And again, it's that background pinky red 
colour, which I'm loving. Then we have stars, and I love stars, so this page makes me very, very happy. Then a lilac background with all the fun little sort of thick lines on there, and then another one of circles and hearts, and there's even little hearts in the background as well. I just, I really love this one. I find it very sort of pen pal, happy mail, oh, we're at the end, but yeah, like happy mail, snail mail, that sort of thing, all the fun shapes and doodles, and it's just, it's a fun paper pad, is what I'm gonna say. And then the last thing I have to show you was not in my design team package, I actually picked it up a day or so ago, in the range, saw them in there, I've been lusting after them for a while, ever since they were announced, and I just had to get one. They come in three designs, so these are the Dovecraft washi tape boxes, it's 20 rolls per box. There's obviously this floral one, there is one that's got like sentiments and stuff on, which has got silver foiling, then there was, there's like a brun, a brun, oh my goodness! I don't know what's wrong with me today. A fun, bright coloured one which has uh, gold foiling in, but I really, 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 really wanted the florals. So I'm just gonna open it up for you to see the tapes a little better. They're all uh, one centimetre or 10 millimetre tapes and I just, how oh, pretty. The one that's got like post office, special delivery, love, lots of love, and then lots of lovely florals and the neutral colours, and I just, I am loving it. And this box was only $4.99 in the range, so I think that's a brilliant price. I will try and find a link to these. I don't know where else they're available, and the range can be a pain in the behind to get links for. They do do online orders and delivery and stuff, but just finding links on their website is not the easiest thing. <laughs> in the world, um, but I will try anyways. But if you're uh, able to get to a The Range store, if you're in the UK or, do they have them in Ireland as well, I think? Yeah, um, then definitely go in if you can to get these. So there we go, there is my latest design team package from Trimcraft, what an amazing package. I love all these papers and all the Dovecraft little bits and pieces. I think all of this is available in the range, so if you are able to get to a The Range store, then that's the best place to do it. It's the best way of buying it, I find, and you can have a good look. But if not, if you are not able to get to one, or if you are not in the UK or Ireland, then um, obviously I will leave as many links as I can in the description box, and Craftstash um, now have a USA website, so there's a lot of things, um, especially sort of Dovecrafty things, um, to, that are now available to get in the USA and I think it's free postage over $70 for Crafts Dash USA but I'll leave a link you can check it out if you're interested but yes other than that if you are new to my channel I have a trim craft project video every single Tuesday on my channel and all my other projects are shared on Instagram as well as on trim crafts inspiration area on their website the craft blog I will leave links as I said to all of those things so do check them out I need to go and, oops, my amazing sequin pen is rolling away. Anyways, I need to go and drink something cold and sit in front of a fan for a while. And yes, okay, I'm finished. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm going. Bye-bye.